Hello. Now we'll see how to simulate a VHDL code for two input AND gate using Xilinx IEC 9.2i. For this, uh, you need to download a Xilinx IEC webpack from Xilinx website compatible to your system and install it on your computer. It takes maximum 20 to 25 minutes and once it is installed you can see this you can see this uh, icon on your desktop now I'm going to open it we need not to go for my support we have to double click on ISC it will show some tips every time when you just log in you can either go through it or just close it the first step in every software is to create a new project so click on file open new project and then we'll have to decide on what name you have to give we'll give a name example automatically it gets saved now as we are going to write a code either in VHDL or Verilog so we are going with this option HDL hardware description language and just click next here we have to give some device property specification so particularly it is dependent on what kind of device you are going to use for downloading these hardware description language codes so there are different categories uh, the device for example we are going to choose is an FPGA of uh, Xilinx Spartan 3E so let's go with that for that I have to keep the product category as all family will be Spartan 3E and then device the particular name of IC it is XC3S500E I'm going to choose and its package will be FG320 and then the speed grade minus 5 we are going to go with that then just for the information synthesis tool its internal Xilinx synthesis tool XST which is compatible to Verilog and VHDL we are going to use and again the simulator ISC simulator which we are going to use now let's go with VHDL as as I'm going to write the code in VHDL say next here I can enter a new source I need to choose which module I have to write so I have chosen VHDL module let us give a name well giving name we have to take care that it should not start with a special symbol or a number so let us start with some alphabet and also we should not use some keywords which are often used as a language construct now for a very simple gate design I can make use of this tool where I can simply add names of inputs and outputs here are the directions given so I selected a B as input and C as output these all will be single bit information so I'm not going to change that click on next here you can see the summary so finish it will automatically save your code in the directory which is created in C drive say next next and finish
this is the GUI which you can see once a project is created here in left hand side you can see a sources window and processes window this is the source which we have created double click the same we can do by clicking here as well it gives you a summary on what date at what time by whom this is created let us not go in details of that and start with the code we have a facility that you know with the help of this tool it gives me a skeleton of code which makes it easy to just write down some statements related to the functions what exactly this code is going to do and hence the code is ready so here we can see depending on the information which we have given as input and output it has created entity of this ex1 example 1 by taking the inputs from that smaller window which we uh, earlier we entered and here I have to write the relation between those input and output variables as I am going to write a code for simulating a two input AND gate so A and B are two inputs and C is my output so I am assigning the value of A and B to output C let us save this we can see number of options in this processes window design utilities, utilities user constraints synthesis synthesize XST in this synthesize XST for beginners we can always start by checking the syntax now as we have entered only one statement so then there might not be many mistakes in the syntax so still with this green background of the tick we can understand the code is perfect and it is check syntax is completed successfully now we need to simulate this simulation uh, is used generally for checking its functionality whether the code which we have written is working properly or not so let's see how to do it I can see in sources window this source example one right click on that go in new source then I need to add another source for checking my inputs and outputs so I need a test bench waveform so once you need to click on this and then give any name say x2 click on next so it shows with what earlier source it needs to get connected it is showing ax1 next and finish so we have one window which gives us uh, a facility to modify any parameters related to the clock signals and input and output signals we are not going to change many things here just I have to go for this because I'm not going to use a clock signal as this is a very simple logical circuit only a two input and get where I don't need to use a clock so I am choosing this combinatorial that is internal clock and say finish this is a window where I can make changes as inputs so I can see A B are inputs so I can do some changes by clicking anywhere in the blue colors at the same time I also can see C as my output variable but I cannot make any changes here itself these inputs we are going to feed to the code which we have written and they will be treated as inputs 
they will be passed through the code and output is checked. Now to check the output we need to go to behavioral simulation because we are simply going to check how it behaves whether it behaves correctly or not. So as soon as I save this waveform file a .tbw file gets created. This is nothing but a test bench waveform file. I need to simulate this. So now in process window I have an option Xilinx ISC simulator. Simulate behavioral model. Double click on that. And here is the simulation. You need to move this cursor marker and we can observe here as the functionality of AND gate is when input is when both the inputs are 1 then only my output goes high. So let's check the possibility. So here it is. Here I can see the status of marker exactly where we put this marker at those positions what is the value of A it is 1 B is 1 and as both the inputs are 1 output of my AND gate is also 1 hence this is the simulation.